Hello friends of the channel, this is another short video with another true scale conversion. In this case, I have a Mark IV Space Marine made completely from the GW plastic kit. This is the guy that you guys have over here. And um, I have uh, uh, maybe add overall, maybe I would say like 40 mil 4 millimeters overall in the, in the size of this model. Um, this is the way he looks from the side. I added a big crest in the helmet, as you guys can see. And um, also a banner that he's uh, holding. Uh, the banner is attached with a um, magnet. Sometimes I do this because this part just uh, breaks a lot sometimes, so it's very delicate. So power fist, of course. That's the view from the side, and of course he's just uh, plunge one of um, plunge a sword into an enemy um, helmet, as you guys can see. Okay, that's uh, the model. That's the way it looks. I'm very happy with the outcome. Um, when it comes to size, the purpose of this guy was making him very imposing, very tall. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to compare him with other models. Like in this case, I'm going to give him a comparison with the uh, our classic. Uh, this is the way he looks compared with a Primaris. And... Um, we're gonna compare him right now um, with the Mark VI Space Marine. They are supposed to be, the Mark VI are supposed to be, from the Horus Heresy, the Age of Darkness are supposed to be the newest standard when it comes to size, according to many. And this is the way he fares with the Mark VI. Let me see what else we have over here. Of course, this is a regular Space Marine just uh, normally built from the GW um, tactical squad and then one last comparison is going to be to compare him with a Mark III Space Marine from the Horus Heresy what I can say about the Mark Mm, four models, plastic models, and um, this guy over here was completely made from plastic. Um, is that uh, the poses in these models in the Mark IV are not very, they don't have too much variety, I guess you can say. And to be honest, I really much, much more like this model over here, the Mark III uh, armor than the Mark IV, in my opinion. It's a better looking armor. And um, so when you convert and you true scale um, a Mark IV, like in the case I did over here, you have to be very careful. And in the waist, uh, I have added over here, I will say maybe like a millimeter and a half probably millimeter and a half. Um, raise the neck, of course, just raise the neck, um, added um, some um, uh, neck uh, guard, raise the neck one millimeter, and also attach the arms uh, higher so I can compensate for the raising of the neck, otherwise it's gonna look kinda weird. And one millimeter under the feet, and from this side over here, I just added one millimeter and um, that will be probably all the changes that I made to this model and overall that had gave me probably like three and a half millimeters I will say in height um, and um, very nice models to convert uh, poses uh, are not very uh, they don't have too much variety as I say but if you want to um, um, achieve a more aesthetically friendly, a better look, I guess you can say. You can make some changes in these models and just uh, make him look better uh, to fight in your army. 
um, gonna be posting this guy on eBay. If you guys want to support the channel, you can support the channel by purchasing these models on eBay. Thank you so much for all the support that you give me, guys. It allows me to uh, make these changes, show you what is possible. And when it comes to using GW plastic kits, which is probably what we have mostly available to all of us. Without uh, going into more expensive uh, bits, um, you can just use GW to really create very um, diverse looking models. Um, subscribe, uh, share the video so more people know about the channel and you help us with the algorithm. And uh, we're going to see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.